again to try some food-inspired science experiments and I'll be joined again by nano girl Dr Michelle Dickinson as we try out some more experiments from her new book, The Kitchen Science Cookbook. Right, what are we making this time? We are going to make magical, not really, <laughs> unicorn noodles using this. Science unicorn noodles. Science unicorn noodles. So Best type. Noodles that will change colour in front of your eyes before you eat them. Um, thanks to the power of anthocyanin, which is found in red cabbage, beetroot, blueberries, um, and give it that beautiful purple colour. And so all you need for this is some red cabbage, about half half red cabbage chopped up, and then you just soak it in some water. So I've okay. been soaking this in here for about five minutes. Oh, it's got a beautiful sort of bluish colour, the water. Beautiful. And so the anthocyanin comes out of the cabbage and you can see that blue colour of the water sits there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some noodles, mm -hmm. simple rice noodles because they're quick to cook, but you can actually use anything. You can use normal rice, you can use spaghetti. So anything that absorbs Anything water that absorbs that is dry. It and we're going to put that in there and it's going to sit there and absorb and cook. So these are about one minute in water to actually fully cook. So they're very quick and very easy, which is great when you've got kids who are not patient. <laughs> and this is hot water, This I'm is assuming. just hot water. And if you have um, a pan and a stove and you are safe with your kids, then it, it's quick if you boil it up, but you can just do it sitting there with hot water. So anthocyanin is an amazing pH indicator. So it can tell you whether things are acidic or basic. And basically what I do is I go around the kitchen and I get kids to think about what is an acid and what is a base and then how do we test it? And so my favorite thing to do with this recipe is to make rice. So I make purple rice by cooking rice in the, in the cabbage juice. And then I love sweet and sour chicken, like it's mm. probably my favorite dish. <laughs> and sweet and sour chicken has acid in there in the form of vinegar to make it sour. And so if you make this with the sweet and sour chicken, but with the purple rice, when you put your sweet and sour sauce on top of your rice, your rice will change color. And amazing. kids think it's amazing that their <laughs> food is doing science in front of their eyes and then they get to eat it. In this case, we're gonna take two common kitchen ingredients. We have some lemon juice mm -hmm. in here and we have some bicarbonate of soda or baking soda in there. Typical things that you might have. If you don't have orange juice, um, orange juice will work or lemon juice or anything sort of citric acid like even kiwi or fruit. Vinegar as you said. Vinegar is good too. as well it doesn't taste that great. No but then neither does bicarb. It, to be do fair. you know it doesn't but what I found is kids eat it anyway <laughs> okay and so <laughs> when they mix now if you do this at home and your kids start to eat the lemon bit and the bicarb bit and they start to froth at the mouth <laughs> it's okay so <laughs> it's quite funny and they don't seem to mind the bitterness I think that's something as you get older but they seem to it's do generally it. harder to find bases or alkalis that are edible around the kitchen, isn't it? Because there are yes. lots that you wouldn't want to be eating. No. And if you want to change the colour even more dramatically, using things like a bleach actually takes it to the other extreme, but only when you've got gloves on and you show kids not to eat this. Yes. Um, so these are the edible ones. So while we're cooking this here, I should be able to pull some of this out. So you'll see Ooh, pretty. that our noodles have taken on that does look like it could be a unicorn color. mane. Doesn't it? Could indeed. <laughs> so we're going to take these noodles and we're going to split them into three sort of different segments. They are quite hot. <laughs> um, and we're going to leave the blue in the middle as our control, which is our neutral. And then we're going to add some lemon juice over here. And we'll see if it is an acid Ooh. or an alkali based on whether there or not it, it changes colour. And it does. So when it's pink, that means it is acidic. Very pretty. <laughs> now the alternative is to go what we think Can is I the, the opposite spectrum, of course. Because this is a powder, we'll just have to mix it in a little bit. Is that enough? You can go with it. Depends. We'll see. depends how bitter <laughs> you like it. And it should start to go green. Oh yeah, it's starting to change. I guess it takes a little bit longer because it's not in liquid. Could you mix this with some water? You can indeed. To make it, it go a bit faster. It does go faster, but the kids love to stir and mix. And, and, and we've you're talked learning about, about how reactions work exactly. because if you put things in liquid, it's easier for the chemicals to bump into each other, whereas solids, you have to kind of get them worked in there a bit more to get them to react, don't you? And so if you leave this for a couple of minutes, it does go to a beautiful green as it starts mm. to absorb into the noodles. And so there you are. Easy, simple unicorn noodles. Very nice. Thank you very much. <laughs>
We've left the noodles for a little while and you can definitely see three really distinct colours now. We've got the green ones, the um, blue original ones and the bright pink ones. So could you eat these? They probably won't taste great. Kids seem to love eating them because they're coloured, but you can make sauces out of these ingredients and actually yeah. make them quite tasty. And they look like what I think a unicorn mane might actually definitely. look like. Definitely. You can definitely imagine that being on a unicorn head. Thanks, Michelle. And thank you to our Patreons, because without you, we couldn't make videos like this. If you'd like to support us, you can pledge a small amount. Just go to the Cosmic Shambles Network and click on the link, and you'll get all sorts of great rewards. If you'd like to get your hands on one of these beautiful books, you can get it worldwide from the Book Depository. Or if you're in the UK, we recommend going to hive.co.uk and supporting your local bookseller.